right, guys, welcome back to 5280 Adventures. We are back for episode two of the 2017 Best Finds. Um, episode one, I had some great comments, um, so I decided to come back for episode two. Thank you very much for the kind words. That first episode, yeah, if I had some great finds. Episode two, you're in for a good one. So um, with that being said, let's just jump right into it. This first clip, uh, at the Garbage Man, my son Caden, is going to make his debut here um, for the 2017 Best Finds. This uh, hunt happened over in May. Uh, I took uh, Caden over to his old school, and we were there for a little bit, and uh, he surprised me with this find. I think it surprised him, too. Um, he still talks about this find to this day, so um, it turned out pretty darn good for him. What? It's a ring! It's a ring! Look! It's a ring! <laughs> Does it have any markings on the inside of it? Uh... Doesn't look like it! There's but nothing? There's nothing. Alright, let's see it. It's a ring! So let's see the top. There you go. Nice! Oh yeah! <laughs> first ring ever. Alright, so he gets his first ring, right? It's not silver, but a ring is a ring. It's still a personal item. Oh my gosh, he was so excited when he found that. Um, and of course, everybody remembers their first time, right? Nervous? Yes. First time. No, I've been nervous lots of times. So that worked out pretty well for him. He had a great time doing that. It's a pretty big deal. Um, and, and he's got that close uh, close to his heart. He's got it displayed out in his room um, as his first ring find. So pretty amazing. Awesome find for the garbage man. Congrats, Caden. All right, this next one, I was actually out in uh, a city that's pretty close to me. I found a, a, a field that had once housed a, uh, a, a house with some outbuildings. It's no longer there, but I was over there hunting and came up with a, 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 a relic that I've never found before. It was my first one I ever found. Um, and then on top of it, it turned out to kind of have a little bit of history connected to uh, the city of Denver. So watch this and, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks. All right, I'm standing out in this field here. I got a decent target here. 70, I've been able to lock it in 79.80. Not very deep though, about four inches. Okay, not deep at all. Shotgun shell, head stamp maybe? No? No. What is this? Actually looks like a button. There's the shank folded over right there. The front of it. Huh, never seen that before. Interesting. Cool. Well, if anybody knows what the heck this is, what company it's from, uh, leave me a comment. I, uh, I've never seen this. Do a little bit of research and see what we can come up with. Pretty awesome find though. Thanks for watching. Well, like I said, my first button um, I ever have found before Found it in an area that I never would have expected to find that type of button before. Uh, the, the Denver Tramway Company, uh, the insignia on there, amazing. 
Um, I don't have any any further details other than uh, that button probably came from the 30s off of a uniform for the trailway system or the tramway system um, in downtown Denver. Um, they since you know changed it over to our uh, busing uh, system and got away from the tramways, of course, like everybody else has. But uh, incredible find and a small little tidbit of that. I actually took that button over to um, my uh, hunting club that I, I have talked about frequently here and I actually won find of the month in terms of relics so it turned out pretty good for me I also have that displayed I'll always remember that as being my first button as well as uh, something that's pretty significant uh, to Denver too so very very cool find for me I'm very excited about it I love the way it looks um, very very happy with that find so all right that same time I'm hunting uh, that same field and not very far away from that uh, Denver Tramway Company button, I actually found this next piece. It's not something very, very uh, significant or anything like that, but it's just very cool because it's a personalized piece. I love personalized pieces, things that you can kind of relate to actually a person that lived in that location, um, and I really thought this was pretty cool. Take a look at this. All right, another mid-tone. Not very far underneath, just kind of skimmed off the grass. I've already uh, picked it up and wiped it off, but um, I got another one of these, but I couldn't see anything on it. On this one, it looks like there is some writing on the back. It says, Armand, USA. Um, no idea what this is. I'll have to look up Armand, USA and see. Came in kind of like a copper, low copper. Um, but if anybody knows what this is, let me know. I'd be interested to see. It's pretty cool little signature there. All right, so that beauty compact was pretty cool. Um, you know, it wasn't uh, made of silver or anything like that, but go, you know, again, heading back uh, to the 30s, dating back to the 30s, um, it's a pretty cool little piece. You know, it's been there for a while, and again, hey, we're just saving history and relics, right? So um, very, very cool piece. I didn't end up saving that, but I just thought that was a pretty unique little piece to have found there and, uh, you know, be able to save that and, and be able to date it back to that, that period. So, um, great find. I had a great time doing that. Um, very, very cool. Well, back in May, uh, at the end of May, I came across a bottle dump, um, and there's a long history of that bottle dump. Um, I'll put a link to that actual, uh, video there. Um, I went out to that bottle dump, I think, three or four times. This was a, a bottle that I found that I had never heard of before. I was able to do some research on it and find some interesting uh, information about it, which was pretty cool. Uh, so take a look at it, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. All right, my newfound buddy Brad went and got his uh, skid loader there. We're digging into some spots here. We found a good spot and pulled lots of cans, broken bottles out of right here. It's a slow go, but I don't want to break anything. And I, we have something here. I wanted to see what we have. It looks decent so far. Try and pull this out. I hope it's complete. Oh, look at that. Got a screw top, not too terribly old. On the bottom, let's see, it says Fitch. Fitch, I have no clue what Fitch is, but I got a bottle, complete bottle. All right, I'm gonna keep at it and see what else we can find. All right, so that Fitch bottle is pretty cool. Uh, it came out whole, undamaged. Uh, it's not any, it's not anything valuable. But just very, very cool to be able to hold something that's 80 years old, 90 years old. Um, and it was in that location. Uh, you know, my first bottle dump, was, it was a pretty fun time out there. Found a lot of bottles. Um, spent a lot of time out there. So if you guys haven't seen all those videos, go ahead and jump back uh, in, in the history of my videos. And go ahead and search for those bottle dump videos. It, they, we had a great time. Actually, DK went out there with me one time. Um, and we found some interesting things out there. So very, very fun, very, very cool for me. All right, this last video, 
is going to be uh, a group hunt that I went out to again with my Eureka Treasure Hunting Club. And uh, it was a seeded hunt, so they did plant all of the coins. Um, but I did come across uh, a good amount of uh, coins. And uh, hey, silver, silver, right? So add it to the collection. Enjoy it. Why don't you take a look and see how it turned out? I'm just going to sit over here by ourselves for a second, kind of go over what everything I found. I've got two quarters of 63.64. Got five mercury dimes. Uh, 36, 36, 43, 43, and 41. And then lots of silver dimes. Got 12 silver dimes. Uh, 59, 64, 64, 64, 64, 64. Uh, 64 times 3, 64, a 59, and a 55. So um, I had a fantastic time on. I got my little token from Golden Detectors. Had a great time. Good food, good people to talk with, lots of targets, lots of uh, high tones, really, really fun time. So we do this about once a month out here. Uh, the next one coming up in July is a pretty big one. It's called uh, Rush to the Rockies pretty big event uh, it's a three-day hunt five different hunts over three days so um, had a great time and lots of silver to go clean so thanks for watching I appreciate it we'll see you next time hey all right right lots of silver for me two silver quarters five mercury dimes 12 rosies who wouldn't want to find all that I wish it was uh, in, a, in an old site but hey that silver looks great in the collection and in fact, I've uh, even given a couple of those silvers away in some giveaways. So I'm sure everyone's excited about that. I love giving it away. Um, it worked out great. So that's going to do it for episode two here. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, please stay tuned here. We have quite a few more episodes to get us through kind of the end of the year um, of the best 2017 best finds. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you wouldn't mind, please give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and leave some, me some comments down below. I love reading the comments. I will reply to each and every comment. So um, write something good for me. I guarantee I'll reply to it. So thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.